Hello everyone, this is Asim from Trade with Asim and Sajjad and today I am here for weekly analysis from 19th of March till 23 of March. So I will be starting from Euro USD. As you can see, the last week was kind of sideways market as it started uh, with an uptrend and finished with a uh, downtrend. And I'm expecting it by the end of week, we would be expecting to uh, finish the downtrend at the resist uh, support of 1.21893 as the weekly outlook is a, a bearish momentum for the euro usd uh, i would be just uh, taking it on uh, a weekly chart so that uh, you people can see a very clear picture on the weekly basis as you can see on weekly basis, it's having a rejection at uh, support 2, which is at 1.216. And uh, last week, it has the same rejection. So I am expecting it if it will break support 1 at 1.223 uh, on the technical analysis, I expect it to go down to support 2, which is at 1.216. So that's all for the Euro USD. Uh, I wish uh, you guys can capture some good trades uh, for the next week, but my speculation is bullish and the target is 1.216 for the Euro USD. Now going into uh, GBP USD. Uh, GBP USD, if you look into the tunnel that I have made and which me and Sajad are always looking into, that it's always been in the same shape and it's going up and down in the same tunnel. So I will just zoom it in for you guys as the last week was quite uh, different. As you can see, uh, it has started uh, a green candle after having two red candles. Uh, one was doji candle and the other one is a normal candle. So currently it's it has got a rejection at uh, resist, support resistance level at 1.3971, which is at this level. Uh, rejection at 1.39793 it has rejected I believe uh, three times and it's going to try once again to reach that level and it's a, 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 a bullish momentum for GBP USD uh, breaking resistance one at 1.397 would result for the week end at the target of 1.420 so uh, the target for me for the weekend would be 1.420 and in between the market may be sideways but you need to be careful on Monday so that uh, you know uh, we, we can have some good trades. Uh, I will just take you through the weekly uh, outlook. So the weekly, weekly outlook is completely uh, bullish from last two weeks. And you can see a very clear picture on the weekly uh, chart as it did it it bounced back uh, three weeks be uh, before from uh, resistance a support of 1.369 and then it was rejected at resistance one of 1.393 and then now it got rejected from resistance two which is at 1.40. In the next week, I am expecting it to breach this uh, resistance too, which is at 1.40 and I'm expecting it to reach at 1.410. So it's going to go much higher and it's going to be a bullish momentum. So I would suggest uh, all my traders and viewers to buy on dips at GBP USD. Now uh, moving to USD JPY. Uh, it's also a very very good pair, but it does not have a very good effect of the weakness of uh, USD rather than having more effect of uh, uh, Japanese yen being powerful. So last week uh, was a kind of a bullish momentum uh, for the for the pair. Uh, the, the the candle got closed after rejection at 105.64. So it was the level, but I'm expecting a bearish momentum once again with the target of 105.398. So you can say 1.0, 5.4. Uh, uh, it's going to be at this level. So I'm expecting a bearish momentum, uh, just a continuation of the trend from last start of the last week. Um, 
I will take you for a weekly outlook so that I can su have support for my, uh, you know, uh, for, for my argument, for my speculation. You can see it's, it's at support 1. But I would suggest if it will break the support of 1.0576, the next target on weekly base is 105.0, oh sorry, 104.700. So that's going to be the next level, which is here. As you can see, my speculation at the end of week would be 1.05.40. Uh, one oh, sorry, uh, my apologies, 1.05.200. And if it breaks this level and it breaches uh, support 1, then the next target is support 2 at 1.04700. So that's all about USD JPY. I would suggest you to sell when it's at resistance 1. So at the point of rejection, uh, you, you can have a good selling point and a good selling entry and then you can close it at support 2 or most probably at support 1 uh, and then an extension you will have support 2. So now moving it to uh, USD Swiss franc or at, at daily outlook uh, for the technical analysis. Um, it's a Swiss franc is kind of a really really different situation. It's It was half week, it was downward direction and then it's, it's at a bullish momentum. Uh, and it's rejecting at resistance 1 at 0 0.0954, which is uh, a second time rejection at this level. Uh, so I would uh, speculate on this one that breaching this support level is it's a very uh, not really, really uh, strong because last three days it was a very strong bearish momentum. I expect that it will breach the it will it will it will uh, break the support uh, the resistance at 0.954 and it can touch and then bounce from uh, 0.957. So my target for the next week would be 0.957 and further an extension with uh, 0.962. So that's that's the target for weekly just to support my speculation. Um, I would be uh, going into a weekly outlook so that you can see that it's a very, very strong uh, bullish momentum and there was some good candles from last few weeks. It's forming. So my target would be uh, R2 at the weekly outlook and then for, uh, I mean, uh, R1 and then R2. So R, R2 is 0 0.965 as I said previously and R1 is 0 0.0958. So that's all for USD CHF. Uh, I I want I would uh, expect my viewers to take a very very uh, good buy position on dips. All those scalpers uh, who want to trade on uh, support and resistance have some good chances on USD franc. Um, now moving into uh, US dollar and uh, USD Canadian dollar. Um, a very very good spec, uh, 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 scenario in the USD CAD is a, a bullish momentum, and it has break the pivot the uh, support one then pivot and it's at resistance one. But at the opening, I'm expecting a kind of rejection uh, for the USD uh, dollar. But and on the other hand, if uh, we lose the oil prices or the oil prices drop, then we uh, then we expect more uh, bullish momentum in the pair. But if the the dollar, the, the, the oil prices keep on going higher, then we can expect a bearish momentum. At the moment, my target would be um, 1.3515 at the end of the week. And an extension, if it breaks and uh, and, and it goes more high, the, the level would be 1.323. So it can touch as the it's a strong momentum, bullish momentum at this time time because it, it started moving a very strong bullish momentum from 1.28 so from 1.828 to 1.30 is a good number of pips that has been achieved by the pair so in case of the uh, because it has been affected by two different factors so uh, my speculation for the weekend would be r2 which is 1.315 so that's all from usd uh, canadian dollar now moving it to um, gold and uh, for the gold I'm keeping always an eye 
on on gold as there is a bearish momentum at, the, at this time uh, but because we are quite uh, sure it has been rejected at this level which was at um, uh, on on 9th february around 9th february and it started the momentum to go high and then it got rejected at this level and this a momentum was at a bearish momentum the same level again a bearish momentum was going to form triple w but it got rejected at 1339 uh, which was a very very good position and then entered and then did not go high but now it's at a very very key support level and i'm expecting a rejection for the gold uh, for the next month uh, for the next week i would expect uh, and speculate that it would start a bullish momentum so uh, be careful with the gold that it's at a very very key support level and it has been uh, from last uh, couple of uh, weeks it has been rejected from this uh, line and from this current current price i'll just take you for a weekly outlook just to support my uh my my indication if you can see it got uh, but we cannot overrule a previous uh, drop from here. So from from uh, September 2017, I believe uh, it dropped from this level. So it may be that scenario, but most of the time it got rejected at this level and it went to enter a bullish momentum. So uh, I would I would expect that the majority of what happened in the last time it will again happen, or what can what can happen that it will it will come to a level of one point sorry not one point one two nine seven and then it will get rejected that may be happen that it that will reject from either one three zero one three zero zero or one two nine seven there are and then it's going to start its bullish momentum so i would suggest to buy on 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 dips and I wish you a very good trading week. Uh, me and Sajad will bring you some exciting more videos on the Euro USD, GBP USD, on gold on daily basis, and will give you a daily outlook of how the uh, prices of the uh, major currencies will move against the dollar. And we will be discussing with you some other keys and factors on our videos. So I wish you a very good luck. Sorry, Mr. Sajad is being absent, so I'm just carrying out this. Uh, analysis on his behalf today thank you for watching thank you for your time and if you're not subscribed please click on the link below on the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel so you get all the updates if you like the video and the quality of the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like please give us a thumbs down as well and comment below so that we can improve our videos for the next time have a good trading week